My name is Sarah Mace. I'm originally from Brazil. I'm a music producer, an artist, and I also work at Abbey Road Studios as an audio product assistant. I started playing harmonica when I was about 11 years old, did uh, tours in Brazil with incredible blues musicians. And in 2012, I came to Berkeley, Valencia uh, in a scholarship to do a summer program here and just fell in love with this place. And after this, I got another scholarship to do a five-week program in the Boston campus in 2013. Felt even more in love with Berkeley. And there I got a third scholarship to Berkeley College of Music as a full-time student. And I think some of the highlights would be probably playing with uh, Seu Jorge at Blue Note in New York. Also got to work with Sylvia Messi at Berkeley and Ebony Smith, Wendy Wong. And after Berkeley, I spent a couple of years freelancing, really working a lot of my own music. And in 2021, I started to work at Abbey Road Studios. And working at Abbey Road Studios as well just gave me a lot of different opportunities, working in films, a lot of Marvel films, Barbie, uh, Pinocchio, and with bands as well. Studying at Berkeley, Valencia, Berkeley, Boston, you get it's really an international hub of music and of cultures and of people. So you get to live and experience all these different scenarios, again, different cultures, people doing things in different ways. And when I think of Berkeley, it's the, the technical side of things. I don't think there's anything really in my professional life that I came up, you know, that I stumbled upon that I haven't at least heard of it or heard of a basic concept of it while I was at Berkeley, because it's such a broad learning experience that I feel that I was quite prepared to like just bring it on. You know, whatever comes to me, it's I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. Today I've shared with the students my experience when, in different sessions, in production sessions, engineering sessions, where I just had to adapt to that situation. So just making sure that I apply the same concepts of techniques and microphones that I would do in a professional studio, but in a place where it's not really prepared setting for a, a professional studio. That's really important for a producer and engineer today, just to adapt to whatever situation you have. The one thing that I've been, has been quite consistent in my career path so far is taking risks, uh, experiment with things, experiment with whatever you have, you can be creative. So think about the context you are in and think about the things you have around you, what can you use and how to maximize the use of these things into that context. Mm -hmm.